These are some studies I've done that are sort of the first studies of Edward James Olmos, who's a, an actor I've, I've admired for a long time. And my idea is to paint him on a building somewhere in Los Angeles. Um, Consuelo Eckhart, who is a uh, artist um, fundraiser, has come, has come in with me and also now with Edward. And uh, we are trying to get funding to, to do this. This is a Union Bank building in downtown LA, which would be a, a great place. He used to he used to be one of the uh, figures for Union Bank. So that's just an idea. But uh, I'll, I'll do several of these. This is Charles White, the uh, great uh, artist that was my mentor when I was a student at uh, Otis. Uh, he was the head of the drawing department and I was there with him really between 75 and 77 and then I was working on the, the Holy Trinity mural with him uh, for another year so I was really with him for three years. And I had photographed him up on the roof of, of, of the main classroom building to do a giant 12 foot high by 4 foot wide drawing of him which is now owned by the LA County Museum of Art. And I'd always intended to have that as a, as a really detailed study for a mural that I'd want, want to paint with him someday. Now, oddly enough, they have named the, the school, after the school moved to, uh, to the west side, uh, the Charles Wright Elementary School. And so I decided that's perfect. I'll paint him on the south wall of the original Otis Gallery overlooking Wilshire Boulevard. And these are some of my studies to do that. And I'm just uh, working on that, hopefully, uh, maybe next year. I'm, I'm hoping next year, uh, 2020, I'll be able to paint him. Um, this is Ed Moses. I had this idea of painting Ed Moses and some of the other people from the Ferris Gallery, some of the other original, Robert Irwin and, and Billy Al Benson and others uh, at, at Bergamot Station. And I was working with a the gallery there. This was... I think about 2010 when I drew this. But then some things happened and it really didn't, it didn't turn out and some of the funding didn't happen that I thought was, but uh, I always thought it would be great to, to paint Ed Moses someplace. This piece is, is finished in terms of everything, all the values and the things that I wanted to do. Now I'll spend most of the day just smoothing it out. I don't want it to be so smooth that it looks like a photograph. I hate that. I want it to be very handmade, but I want also to have it smoothed out with a lot of darks and lights. And But I want them to sort of blend into each other a little bit more than they do right now. So well, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day is just blending the darks into the lights just a little bit more, but always with a lot of scribbling. Eventually, I'll have three more figures. The next figure that I'll do will be the, the girl. I've changed these around. The girl's going to be on the far right. And then these two figures, he's taller, so he'll be here and, and he'll be here. So I'll have a very slight pyramid where it'll go up to the taller uh, brother and then down to the other brother that's his height and then to the sister who's, who's a little bit shorter. But this is the, the most comprehensive drawing all I've ever done. I've done lone figures that are life-size and, and even larger than life-size, but never more than one figure that that is life-size. I'm really looking forward to see what it's going to look like when it's done. <laughs>